brass PAF bobbin mounting screws and steel PAF bobbin mounting screws. Sure, they look different, but do they sound different? All right, I know what you're thinking. What the heck are brass and steel PAF bobbin mounting screws and why should I care? Well, this is the sort of question I ask myself daily. Um, and But luckily I do care, so you don't have to. At least, may, maybe you should though in this instance. We're gonna find out. Uh, I'll explain what a, the uh, bobbin mounting screw is in a PAF. Basically the entire pickup assembly is kind of held together by four little screws on the back of the base plate here that pass through the bobbins and stabilize the whole assembly, hold it all together. And those are the, the PAF bobbin mounting screws. Traditionally, these are thought of as being um, brass. And the conventional wisdom is that most PAFs have brass screws, except for the very earliest ones, which have steel. And it's true, the very earliest PAFs do often have steel bobbin mounting screws. But the conventional wisdom is inaccurate in that you'd only, only find these in 57. There, I've, I've had um, pickups from 58 and 59 Flying Vs that had steel bobbin mounting screws. And I've had, I have had patent sticker pickups that came through, patent number pickups that came through with steel bobbin mounting screws. And there are some notable celebrity bursts vintage uh, sunburst less pauls that have steel bobbin mounting screws and two of those are the peter green les paul and the paul kossoff burst both of those have pafs with steel bobbin mounting screws so beyond the cosmetics i asked the question is there a sound difference between these and my Hunches there might be. The reason I say that is I, I have done testing with a P90 soap bar pickup mounting screws, which traditionally would be brass. Um, they pass through the bobbins to attach the P90 to the body of a Les Paul soap bar pickups into a Les Paul, either Les Paul standard or special. And uh, I tested, I've got two versions of those screws. I did test those. And basically I think if they're made out of steel rather than brass, you now have a magnetic uh, little extra pole screw because the steel is magnetically active. You get charge transmitted from the magnet through the bobbin and you've got yourself an extra pole screw. If they're brass, you don't have that because it's not a magnetically active metal. So following that line of thinking, there, there may be a difference with the steel and the brass. Now these are much, in a PAF, these are much smaller in a, a PAF than they would be in a P90, but there's four of these in a PAF and there's two in a P90, and if you line them up, the actual metal, metal mass within the pickup is pretty close between those two. And these pass right through the bobbin from the base plate through just nearly to the top of the bobbin there. So it's in terms of inductance and also uh, magnetism, there's probably, there should be a difference with the steel versus the brass. So the question is, again, do they sound different? So I'm gonna do a test. Um, the reason I have the steel too is, is I, I, th this little part, these tiny screws, believe it or not, can be one of the most frustrating parts to get when you're making your own PAFs. And for years, I, you could get these from suppliers and, and I'd get a batch of them and I'd th think, oh, these are great. These are very accurate to the old ones. And then I'd get the next batch and they'd be totally different. And uh, at some point, I decided to forget it. I'm just going to get them made by the screw supplier or screw manufacturer I have, get my own tooling for the thing, have them made accurately cosmetically and, 
have them so they have really nice Phillips head tops there so they really grab the screw. So I did that with brass and I thought I'd kind of like to have the steel but didn't really have any motivation to do it until recently I had the owner of the Paul Kossoff Burst ask me to do a um, copy of the pickups in his guitar in the Paul Kossoff Burst and making that reproduction I thought, well, what better time to have these screws made? So I had nickel-plated steel uh, bobbin, PAF bobbin mounting screws made with the same tooling that I have my brass ones made out of. And um, I only have 50,000. So I, between these two, I have 100,000 little tiny screws, which I'll go through in no time, hopefully, with your help. But... But anyway, they're kind of cool to have. But it'd be nice to know, is there a difference between uh, them sonically and not just cosmetically? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a similar test to what I did with the, the uh, internal and external start wire. I'll, I'll put uh, the two pickups in the same guitar, same pickup height. I'm label the, uh, the guitar with piece of tape so it's easy to tell. Cut back and forth between the two uh, two clips so you can compare directly the same same thing I'm playing. And with these I'm going to use a, more of a distorted amp tone. With P90s I, it, it seemed that the any difference really was most pronounced when it was a bit of a more distorted tone. You just get a little bit more drive out of the out of the steel screws. So let's see if that translates to these. Um, let's get on with the test. <laughs> Alright, so you've seen the video. Um, let me know what you think. I think there's a subtle difference. I'm pretty sure of that. You, you may have a different opinion, so let me know. I may be totally wet about that. But in the room, I thought I was getting a little difference between the two as far as treble and output. Particularly in the low strings. Maybe a little bit in the high strings, too. But the steel seemed to be more quick to distort, more output in the uh, e and A strings, and a little bit more treble bite and snarl with pick attack um, than the brass. They both sound great. I, I, I don't have a really particular preference of one over the other but, other, but I do think that versus steel and brass, oh look, steel one's stuck to the back of that. Between steel and brass, you do get, I think there's a little bit of a difference, but let me know what you think. Um, I can take it, I can take it if you think I'm just full of it on this one, but I, th I think there's a difference. Cosmetically, they're different, and um, 
I'm going to use them for the appropriate stuff for the cosmetics, but if there's a difference, you're going to, you're going to get that too with, uh, when I use the, use these steel ones. And so once again, thanks for watching the video. And, uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. And if you have uh, suggestions for future videos, let me know those. There will be more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you get a chance and click the bell if you want notification for future videos. And once again, thanks for letting Throwback be part of your search for great guitar tone. Mm -hmm.